All right, yes, it does it! <laughs> Supports 400 pounds! <laughs> So last night I was thinking about the connections that I have where I made this frame and uh, how they're connected and what the forces are uh, and I decided I would set up a little bit of an experiment to see just how strong it is. These are lap joints where the two sheets of metal uh, come together and I tried to make sure that there's a physical connection of the weight transferring down uh, uh, directly from one steel to the next without necessarily relying on the steel screws. But uh, the screws are gonna take up some shear. Now how strong are they in shear? Because generally speaking, screws are pretty weak in shear. And so that got me concerned. I wanted to uh, think that through and kind of work it out as a math problem because it's, it's fun. Uh, so uh, ground snow load of 65 pounds per square foot uh, plus a dead load of about three pounds per square foot for the solar panels uh, and the frame and I figure I'm, I'm roughly around uh, 12,000 a little bit over 12,000 pounds of load that would be transferring straight down on these connections uh, so that works out to about 800 pounds for the rear and about 700 pounds for the front per connection uh, and this is just back of napkin uh, math here, you know, and I round it up and stuff. So I currently have three screws in each of these. Now, can these screws then take that load? You know, because we're talking about, you know, a little bit under 300 pounds each. I'm going to set up some of these screws. Now I'm about 250 pounds. So if I figure if one screw can support my weight, then we're good. So in setting up an experiment, at first I thought, oh, I would just take a piece of Z-channel and I would put it on the frame, screw it in place, and I'd step on it. But then I, I realized that if I put my force out here, it would wind up causing a bending and, a, and so I'd have a moment force here, right? So I'd have the downward force, which is the shear, but also the pull-out force as this tries to lever and pivot out from the wall. Uh, so to try to take care of that and make it only a sheer force, uh, so I drilled a hole in the Z channel. I'm going to screw this on and then I'm going to use this hook and I'm going to just tie this up into a little loop and put my foot in it. And what that'll do is really cause that um, the direction of the force to really try to be just in sheer and not in pull out. Um, so that's what I'm hoping. And uh, every time I do something like this, I, I always have the words of my old statistics professor ringing in my ears that uh, a sample set of one is worthless. So, so because one is worthless, I'll test it twice so it'll be twice as worthless. <laughs> There's some friction here, and so I want to take that out of the equation. One screw up at the top, hole in the bottom, lots of oil in between. All right, here we go. I'll just put one foot in there. And I set it up so that if it does snap on me, it's only a couple of inches until I hit the uh, Z channel. All right, let's see if it supports my weight. Hey, it's taking my weight. All right, so it works at 250 pounds. All right, will it support 280 pounds? Yeah, it'll support 280. Cool. Step on my toe. Yeah, there you go. Now put all your weight on me. All right, cool. Supports 400 pounds. Awesome. <laughs> One screw will support 400 pounds. And see, there's there's no friction involved. Let's uh, let's take this one out, and 
we're just going to try a different screw and see if this particular screw was an anomaly. I'll just I'll be drilling a new hole into the the steel here. Here we are. Let's try it now with a new hole in the steel and a new screw and see if that particular screw was just a one off. All right, it'll still hold 250. <laughs> Elena? <laughs> Put one foot up there. Yep. <laughs> All right. Yes, it does it. <laughs> Supports 400 pounds. Nice. <laughs> now, my, my statistics professor used to say that a, uh, a sample set to be worthwhile had to be a minimum of 10,000. We now have a sample set of two, so <laughs> it's, uh, it's still worthless, but <laughs> makes me feel a lot more comfortable now about the frame and how it's put together. Hey, thanks a lot for watching, and if you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. I just can't help myself. I love making things stronger. So I went and cut up some of the Z channel into these little angle brackets, and I'm gonna screw them in place. And also at the tops, adding another angle down in there. So, even though it's probably not necessary, I just enjoy making things stronger than they have to be.